looked for resources everywhere to help me with my business. I went to the went to SCORE and asked them for help. I went to the Chamber Small Business Connection and asked them for help. Anyone who was in the restaurant business, I asked for help and really couldn't get the encouragement or the assistance that I needed. Um, they looked at the margins on my cupcakes and said, this is a doomed idea. You're never going to make money doing it. Um, no one's going to finance you to do it. It's a, just a bad idea. And I didn't really care that it was a bad idea, according to everyone else. I thought it was a good idea. And so I started uh, pursuing my business illegally through my home um, because no one told me really anything else. Yeah. And so I did catering orders. I had built my own website and I was like fully in the cupcake business and looking for a place to launch. Um, but really just discovered that I didn't have any help and business advice for food specific business other than just like casually forming relationships with restaurant owners. And so I really built Kitchen 66, which is our ki kickstart kitchen incubator, to be an answer to other food entrepreneurs who are facing the same problems that I had back in 2011. The road market is 21 businesses, um, almost all of them are food businesses, in this 1939 Scribner's Scrivener Stevens Grocery Distribution Warehouse on Route 66, and three of the businesses in Mother Road Market are graduates of our Kitchen 66 program. And the benefit of being a Kitchen 66 graduate business at Mother Road Market is you get 50% off of your rent. The kitchen incubator subsidizes 50% of the rent, and you can sign a one-year lease with the goal of really being able to test your concept without taking a lot of risk, and then hopefully to grow quickly. So if your concept's going really well, start looking for what's your permanent location or um, what are your next steps. We're able to support these, um, these amazing families and friends and immigrants representing mm -hmm. 11 different countries. We've supported more female than male entrepreneurs. We've got more diversity than traditional um, incubators mm -hmm. and accelerators would have. And it's just been, it's been so rewarding. And like, I'm kind of a data nerd, so I'm, I can give you those statistics all day long, but the really cool thing is I watch our, our entrepreneurs and I see their kids come into the space and they're, they're setting up their, their future generations for the idea that anything is possible if you work hard. You can, you can really be your own boss if you have a good plan and good support in place. And, and you know they see their parents working so hard in the business and it really gives them I don't know, inspiration for the future. I was really looking for us to establish a solid mission for what we wanted to do to be successful. And so we started looking at entrepreneurship because to me that's like the other side of the coin of education, right? Like you learn the skills and then you, you try something and you learn from it and try again. And, yeah. um, and so we did an impact analysis of the startup series in its first five years of existence. And I was just blown away by the economic impact that the competition had made on like soft things like inspiring other people to start their own business, but also you know real income coming into our state, real tax dollars being paid into the city and the state, and it was making a difference. And so I said um, to my board, we need to double down our efforts on this. I'm so tired of, of our community forgetting to celebrate the great um, ability and business that we already have homegrown in our state and it seems like you're exactly right the focus a lot of times from um, state government and the chamber and stuff like that is like who can we recruit what center can we get here what and and it's not primary jobs and it's not uh, I mean it's important we need we need jobs for people but it's not looking at the great opportunity of the people that we have right in our state who are working and hustling and, and really trying to make a difference in their, in their community and in their business.